Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And having a good quality bow saw is essential for any outdoor activity where you're going to be building simple structures or rendering firewood. However, a bow saw like this, even though it's small, is really impractical for backcountry use. Now I know they make folding saws that are just about as effective as a bow saw designed for the backpacking community, and I have several. But there is a lighter, more compact option and that is a wire saw. This is an ASE Best Glide. The only problem is you can see that it's somewhat rigid. So you cannot wrap this around a tree or a limb and cut like this. You have to maintain tension on both ends of it and cut like this. So if you're trying to cut a limb, that takes a lot of arm and upper body strength and it's not very efficient. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make a wire saw into a bow saw using nothing more than the wire saw, a gimlet, and a green sapling. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is find a sapling, and it has to be green. You cannot use dead wood. It has to be a green piece of sapling, and it has to have a little bit of flex and bow to it because you want that bow or that flex to put tension on the wire saw. You also need to make sure that you cut it long enough that it will stretch across the frame that you're going to make. Now I realize this one has a natural defect in it, but I think we're going to be okay for our purposes right here. I'm going to go ahead and try this one. So what we need to do first is make it so we can attach the bow saw to this end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my gimlet up through here and make a hole for the wire and then cut a notch to lay it in there with. And I want to do that on the inside of this bow. I don't want to do it on the outside. The bow coming in this way, I want it to go through, I want the wire to go right through here. So I'm going to get my gimlet out and I'm going to drive it through right through here. So I'm going to start the gimlet in just inside of my cut. And I'm going to drive that all the way through at this angle. And there you can see it's coming out. And what I'm really trying to do is aim for the other end of this bow. Because I'm going to repeat the process over here. Now that I've got that hole cut, what I need to do is cut this sapling with a notch concurrent with this hole that I just cut. Now that I have that slot cut, this fitting is going to go right down into that hole that I made for my gimlet. The next thing I need to do is to cut my sapling to length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tension on that and get an idea of where I need to cut this sapling to make a good bow saw. And right there is going to be a good spot where my thumb is. So I'm going to mark that and I'm going to cut it right there. And there we go. Now we're ready to treat this end. The same process I used on this end, I'm going to repeat over on this end. I'm going to drive my gimlet through to create a hole, and then I'm going to cut a notch up to it. And the idea here is to get this as straight as possible. Now that I've got my gimlet dr drilled through, aimed at this end, take it out, and cut the slot. And once I've got that cut down to the hole, I can go ahead and finish making my Bushcraft bow saw. We can go ahead and set this piece in place. 
or this end in place, and we're ready to make the final assembly. I'm simply going to put tension on it so I can spring the other end in. And there is my Bushcraft bow saw. Let's put it to work and see how well it works. Here's a candidate dead tree that we're going to try it out on. It's about maybe two inches thick right here. We'll get these branches out of the way and we'll start to cut. There we go. As you can well imagine, as shown by the demonstration, it is not as efficient as a bladed saw. However, if you are a Gram Nazi, you might want to consider making a bushcraft bow saw out of a wire saw and a simple gimlet. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.